Okay, let's start. Welcome to the Intro Swing Weekend Chat. We have a very exciting topic about the Hemint Launchpad. We have guests from the Curious AD team and also our very own Aryan artist from the Intro Swing who has also used the Hemint Launchpad. So excited to get started. First of all, a couple of words about Intro Swing for new listeners. Dangerous Swing is an international NFT art gallery and podcast founded by friends who met in the Meta Angels project, driven by our passion to showcase independent artists and their art, and also help drive more visibility in the Web3 space. So um, if you have any questions or you want to get in touch with us, we have a Discord. There's a link three in our bio. And last but not least, this show should not be construed as investment advice. It's for informational purposes only. Um, let's hear from our guests. We have Mai and Momo from the Curious AD team. Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for joining. And thank you so much, es Espresso and the team for inviting us to speak about our launch pass. I really appreciate it. Um, a little bit background. My name is Mai. I'm the founder of Curious Studies and Hey Mint. We launched NFT project almost exactly a year ago. And now we are working on creator tools such as Hemi Allow List, Hemi Launchpad, and our goal is always to make Web3 mainstream. So by helping creators, we are trying to achieve that. And Espresso has been such an amazing community member for such a long time. So I really appreciate being here. And yeah, thanks again for having me here. Thank you. And thank you for the kind words. We are very excited to have you here. I also want to hear from Aryan. Um, I would love for you to give us a short introduction. Hi, I am uh, Aryan. I'm from the Netherlands. And besides my full-time job working in a Dutch hospital, I like to create art. And I have been selling art for almost eight years now, mostly print. And as of the beginning of this year, I stepped into the NFT world. And I enjoy it very much because I think uh, the NFT world has things that digital artists really could use to make it a more an, uh, mainline uh, art direction. Thank you. Yeah, uh, that's so true. There are so many new opportunities in this space. Um, you're an artist who has really grabbed these new opportunities and trying out a lot of new cool ways to make art and distribute art. Very excited to hear more about that. Um, I have my lovely co-host, June, here as well. Hello, everyone. <clears throat> Let's start talking about payment. I was wondering if you could introduce the tool, what it is, why you built it, primary use cases for people that don't know what Heyment and the Launchpad is? Absolutely. Thanks for asking. So in order to explain how Heyment and Launchpad works, I want to start with what kind of problem we saw in the space. We launched NFT collection a year ago, and thankfully, my co-founder Ben and I are developers. We were able to build NFT collection without any developer help. But after we launched, we started hearing a lot of stories like, hey, I paid, you know, $100,000 for dev, um, for smart contracts, our generations. It turned out that in order to create NFT collection, you need to, one, generate art, which last year when we did it, there was only a library that only developers can use. So people had to ask for help for developers. And two, the biggest thing that people need help is smart contract. And not many people have experience with smart contract. Uh, one, because it's new technology. And two, it's a very uh, risky programming to do because once you deploy a smart contract, you can't change. So that's why all devs are charging for a crazy amount of money, like 10 or 20% of primary mint. And because LL projects were making like 1 million, 3 million, that ended up being like 100K to like 300K. And which is so unbelievable because when we did it, it took us only two weeks, including like, you know, learning about technology. And once you do once, it's super easy to, you know, use 
the library that we already use and apply that. So we helped Deneka, Barbitoria, uh, Code Green, who is uh, head of philanthropy for World War Women. And each one, even though it's a little bit custom, it took us only a week of work to do it. And it's not even like the full week. The amount of work that we did is probably like three days. And, you know, 100K or 300K for three days of dev work is obviously something is wrong, right? So we started thinking about this idea of how we can provide this service a lot more affordably and a lot more easier for creators. And I casually asked on Twitter, hey, is anyone looking for any free dev service that can generate smart contract? And I got like hundreds of DMs and hundreds of likes. And that kind of gave me confidence that, wow, the space really needs this tool. So that's why we started making this tool. Um, so what tool does is it helps creators build NFT collection without any programming knowledge. So you can generate art, you can build a smart contract, you can deploy your smart contract. And all you need to do is just give us a information like how many tokens you want or what price you want to use for pre-sale and public sale and like which payout addresses you want to set. So you can just configure those informations and the platform will just automatically generate smart contracts for you and you can just deploy from your own wallet. Um, I'll go into details of how everything works, but that's basically what Hemi Launchpad is. Thank you. That's a great introduction. And I think it's important to also mention that you and Ben are absolute legends in the space. As you point out, especially last year, there was a lot of money spent on devs in this space. Um, smart contract developers and the prices were crazy. So th this is an amazing uh, improvement. Thank you. I really appreciate your kind words. Um, this fits into a bigger set of tools that the curious how this project is building, right? Yeah, yeah. We are like like nature um, developer team. So um, payment itself was mm -hmm. kind of the first of these two components in a way. Do you consider it the same tool now or um, it started with allow lists, right? Yep. Yeah, yeah, we started as a law list. Uh, for anyone who haven't heard of Haymint, a law list manager, uh, it's exactly the same as Premint. Uh, you can can create any kind of a law list for your events, your pre-sale, for your like giveaways. Uh, you can collect wallet addresses by adding requirements like um, you have to follow this account or you have to retweet this tweet and and so on. So uh, we also saw the problem in the space. Wow, Premium is such an amazing tool and everyone is using it. But well, creators have to use one ETH to just use this platform. Uh, you know, as developers, we start looking at the tool and, uh, and we're like, oh, this tool can be built pretty fast. And if we can build that and just provide basic functionalities, then creators don't have to pay one ETH because one ETH is, is the amount of money like it was like 3000 dollars that back then which is like a lot of money for creators who are just starting and having the tool really expensive will prevent creators coming into the space and if that happens collectors don't come into the space because a lot of creators bring their audience to web3 so expensive tool set was a blocker for creators especially after market crash so we decided to build a free version of it and that's how Hemi Allow List Manager is built. And the basic feature of Allow List will continue to be free and we don't have any plan to charge. And we are keep adding more and more features and we are actually thinking about adding even more exciting features probably this month or next month. And another tool that we built, which I really, really appreciate is Presto for is we built the tool called Curious.xyz and it's a Q&A platform that anyone can ask questions about Web3 and experts like Espresso will answer questions, you know, about NFTs, about gas, about DeFi, about DAOs. It could be any topics on Web3. We still have the service running and heroes like Espresso, Pixquick, other community members in our community have been tirelessly answering questions for newbies. And this is going to be a more long-term project because when market comes back, 
we will need resources, we will need Q&A. And the problem, like last bull market is like everyone was confused about all the like technologies and everyone just got really stuck. They really needed to find the resources, but they couldn't find it. But now because we are in bear market, this is the best time to build the content for newbies in the future. So yeah, I really appreciate experts like Espresso for answering questions for newbies coming in the future. Thank you. Yeah, it's no secret that I love Curious at XYZ and, and love answering questions that I can provide some details on. And to your point, there, there is so much technology to understand for anyone new in this space. I think this is a very good vision and execution, particularly on building all of these tools to kind of democratize access to Web3. Um, you've also built a fairly big team. I saw some images from your site recently and there are many team members. Uh, we have here today um, Momo, and I'm sorry, I forgot to introduce you in the beginning. Would you like to say a couple of words about yourself and what you do? I'm curious how this yeah hey everyone um i'm momo i direct the community and marketing for the curious Addies nft project and brand i'm so excited to be here i'm also part of the angels wing discord even though i'm not very active on there i love having that space and like a lot of my favorite nft people are there and in this space i'm happy to be here yeah. hi everyone <laughs> awesome Loving this enthusiasm, yes. Yeah, so we love having you in the Discord as well. Um, maybe you can tell us a bit about Curious how this project, like how many you are in and um, different roles and content you're building. I think there's even more content being built than what has been mentioned so far, right? Yeah, so Curious Addies launched basically a year ago. Our birthday was on November 10th, so we've been here for a year. We're super proud of that. We started as a very, very small project, like uh, very education focused, and we've kind of branched out to create, like, really take advantage of the bear market to build these awesome tools. But we do hope to go back to creating a lot more educational content at some point as well. But yeah, our company has grown. At first, it was basically just our founders and Brad. It was just like three people, basically. And now we're up to about 10, 11. I'm not <laughs> sure. But yeah, it's really big. And we have so much planned on the horizon for next year. In terms of the NFT project, um, definitely been exploring like what's the best way to serve our community during this bear market, which I think is a challenge for basically every project. And we're just exploring what the answer for that is. And that's kind of the journey that I'm on currently. But we know that no matter what, we want to make sure we keep providing value to our holders. So that means providing like an excellent community for them to continue to ask questions and find their way as they navigate this space and also make sure that they're getting value by getting full free lifetime access to the tools that we continue to build so Heyman, curious xyz that and forth but yeah i hope that answers your question <laughs> yes thank you that's great um also yeah, access because this is primarily a free tool um who can use the tools and what's free and what's not yeah so the entire suite right now is completely free we are offering all the features for free for now. And from January, we are planning to charge a little bit for advanced features. We want to keep it for free for most of the basic features so that new creators who come to the space who doesn't necessarily have budget yet can still like launch a small collections. But staking, loaning, or staking, loaning, refunding, um, those features are going to be available soon. So those features are going to be paid. And also some of the advanced generator features, which I'm going to talk about uh, probably later, is going to be also paid. But the good news is all the QSIs holders are going to have them access for this uh, platform for free. We wanted to find a way to thank all the community members for like supporting us, following us for such a long time. So all the features that we're going to add in the future for Launchpad, as long as you hold the QS Addies, it's going to be free. So yeah, the ones who already own for more than six months, it's already like available. And whoever buys QS Addies token like in the future, they have to wait for six months. But after that, they will get completely free access because we value long-term holders. That's great. That's great. And walk us through what project creators and artists can do with the launchpad and um, the functionality that's good to be aware of. 
Yeah. So basically, like there are three things that we offer: our generation and smart contract generation and deployment, and providing mint button. So our generator might be familiar of, but uh, I guess the people who are here are Mint Angels holders. So I'm gonna take the example of uh, Mint Angels. So in order to use our generator, you, you need a little bit of prep to use that. So the prep is to make a layers. For example, Meta Angels have like, you know, a background, wing, face, skin, body, right? So, and artists didn't make 10,000 of them. What they did is made the layers, uh, maybe 200 or 300 of layers of different traits. And then the program combined everything randomly and generated this beautiful Meta Angels NFTs. So the tool that we provide will allow you to randomly generate so if you set the number, say, I want 10,000 tokens, and if you import layers, we will generate art for you. And you immediately see the preview of how it looks like. Uh, by the way, when you are thinking about generating art, it's such a special moment when you first generate art. I still remember when I first generated art for Curious Addies. Um, we never know what the combination looks like, right? Like we have some combination of like, layers but we never seen how all the layers come together but once we saw it we we're like wow this went so well like this is unexpected combinations and looks amazing so it's always a special moment for artists to see when the art gets generated yeah so that's our generation and that's the basic functionalities and once you feel good about it you can set rarities so for example if you want to have very rare backgrounds or rare eye cutters or rare t-shirts, then you can set priority to be a lot lower, like 3% or like 1%, then that trait will happen. Um, so if you set background of beach or a, a gold wing as 1%, only 1% of tokens have gold wing. So you can set that in our platform. That's basically what we have as a basic. And after that, you can just start generating and our platform will just actually generate images, image files and metadata and upload that to IPFS. So you don't have to worry anything about uploading to IPFS or setting up to smart contract or anything. And features that I want to mention that we're excited to announce is the first one is roles. I think Meta Angels is one of the first ones to pioneer this role concept. Like the creators want to do something more than generating art sometimes they want to set the roles like oh i want this layer to only appears with this layer or i want to show this trait never appears with this layer for example if you have a black t-shirt you probably don't want to show it with black background so in that case you can set the role saying like black t-shirt should never appear with black background for example or if you want to always appear something with something if you have like flower uh, wing and if you have uh, like nice flower, um, like earring, for example, and if you want them to appear at the same time always, you can also set that kind of role. So that's something that we added recently and we are really excited about it. And other feature that we added is custom tokens. So for example, Meta Angels have like special angels, right? Like angel blockchain, angel wisdom. So they generated some tokens for team members and advisors and they wanted to add that in to their collection. So the, our platform also allows that. And if you want to create art for your team members and gift that, you can insert that custom art at the beginning of the collection. And you can just gift those custom tokens first before everyone mints so that the team members can have custom tokens. So we try to cover all the use cases that people want in our generator. But if you have any suggestions or if you see any patterns that people are using, please let us know so that we can add that in. So that's our generator. And the second one is smart contract. This is a lot more simpler. All you need to do is just give us information and we'll do everything for you. For example, what you need to give us is like how many tokens you want to create, what's the pre-sale price, which address you want to pay out, what's the royalties, and you can just give us that information on the platform. And then we'll just insert that information in smart contract and generate the smart contract for you. And once you generate a smart contract, you can deploy the smart contract from your own wallet. So you have complete ownership of your smart contract. And once you deploy, it's going to be available in blockchain and anyone can start using it. 
the smart contract. And the final part is min button. So usually what Web3 Dev does is build the minting website that allows people to connect wallet and mint from that website. So our platform will offer one simple button that customized for you. So how it works is once you generate and deploy a smart contract, the mint button code snippet, the three lines of code gets available. So you can just copy and paste that into whatever website you have. It could be Wix, it could be WordPress, uh, any website should work. And once you embed that, that button already have functionality to allow people to connect wallet and mint tokens from that button. So all you need to do is just copy and paste that. And once you put that in, your website magically becomes mint website. And once it's available, you can see that like it will prompt you to connect wallet and the pop-up saying how many you want to mint and collectors can mint from there. So all the process, we try to make it as simple as possible. Probably Arjun can talk a little bit about the experience that he had, which I'm a little bit nervous to hear because uh, the user experience might have not been the best, but we try to make it as simple as possible for creators. Yeah, that's great. Uh, I'm also very curious to hear from Arjun on the experience of using this. Uh, just one question first from Johannes here on Discord. Um, do you offer a computed rarity trend, like a rarity number? In the method at all? Yeah, yeah. So yeah, reality, right? Yes, reality. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, our platform. If you set the realities, let's say this uh, background is a ten percent, this background is thirty percent, this background is twenty percent. Our platform will just calculate for you and then uh, generate the token based on the reality. So you can also set that reality. Is that the question that you asked, or? Yes, and uh, do you put that uh, final rarity? in the method all time as well, like ranking all of the tokens by rarity? Oh, ranking. That's a good question. We don't have that feature, but that's a great feature. So I'll definitely put that in backlog. So you want to see rarity rank in the metadata, right? Yeah, I think yeah. that can be great. Well, um, Aryan, you were early in using the launchpad from the beginning. How was the experience and what did you make with it? Well, the experience was great. I think I had one small problem when we were creating the smart contract and it wouldn't go to the tests, but the guys at Heyment helped me through it and fixed everything. It is basically as easy as May said. And I was looking for a way to do this because looking at the NFT projects, it gave me an idea that it would be awesome to create with the layers a mixed media project and I use mixed media in my printed art for years already and I thought it would also be a nice bridge from printed art to NFT markets to create a project where I use my art from uh, prints that I sell and turn it into NFT projects. And also like what May said, when you hit that generate art button, it is so magical. It is amazing to see your art appear in ways you never imagined. And I'm hoping you're going to release this as, as a software thing so we can do that in our own computers also because it is so much fun to see the art getting created. And I would love to do that while creating art. Uh, in, in Photoshop, being able to do these things, it is really amazing to see that happening. And it gives me a hunger to create more. I already have a bunch of ideas for the projects I want to do in the future because the feeling of generating the artwork is so amazing. It just screams you want to do that more often. So yeah, using it is really, really easy. Um, I do have some developer experience. I think more than 25 years ago, I was a software developer for a while, but I never have to use my knowledge for Launchpad because it was really easy to use. And now I'm saving up to buy a Curious Eddy uh, NFT, of course, because I want to uh, keep at it. That's so sweet. Thank you so much for kind words. I think you're the first person to launch, maybe. And yeah, the experience might have not been the best at the beginning, but like I still, I really appreciate you still using it and launching the project and even wanting to launch more projects. And I was just browsing your foundation. Your art is beautiful. I can't see what you create next. Thank you very much. I know what I'm going to create next, but I will keep it a secret for now, I think. Okay, okay. 
Exciting. That sounds really great. Also, um, about your project, the African Beauties project, you embedded the mint button on your site and it sounds like everything was smooth. Yeah, the mint button is really a copy paste of a, a small part of code from the Launchpad site to your own website. And then suddenly you have a mint button on top of the page. And that is amazing to be able to do that so easy. But there's also a, a downside. I, I talked about it in the Discord today because I get a lot of traffic on that page and I'm asking a really low pr mint price and not that many people mint. So I was also thinking that might be a trust issue. People don't know me. I don't have that much followers and having a mint button uh, might make people think I might be scamming them. So that might be something we have to think about uh, while doing this or maybe make a platform where small uh, creators that don't have trust have an, a bigger platform behind them uh, making it easier to get the trust. Uh, that's amazing feedback. Before we started, we actually thought of like three different options of how to offer main experiences. So one is main button that we offer. Another one is having kind of like page on Heymint, um, just like Heymint allow list or like Magic Eden Launchpad. So people can mint on our platform. And three is creating the page and make a custom domain. Um, second one is pretty easy to do. We decided to do the first one, which actually was a lot more work to do because people wanted to have their own experience on their own website and having only the option to host on our website was a deal breaker for, you, for them. But um, I hear your concern and we definitely are going to add the functionality to build the page under our platform. And Heyman is be becoming a lot more popular. So I think it's a good time for us to start hosting. So thank you so much for feedback. Yeah, that is great. I uh, can't wait to start using that also. Yeah, that sounds like a good expansion. And uh, it reminds me of uh, Manifold. Uh, in the past, we've recommended Manifold for many artists to get their own smart contracts. And obviously, as you know, uh, have this claim page set up, which can alleviate this particular issue for uh, minting on unknown pages. Um, June, you have a question? Yeah, thank you. Um, hi, my aunt. Well, first of all, thank you for providing so much value to the NFT space with all these really great and useful tools. So as Ayan already mentioned about this kind of security issue, um, so if you integrate the, the minting function to your own website, then people are sometimes just hesitant to connect to a website they are not really familiar with. And I've seen that with the launch pad, you can actually just connect with a Google account. So I was wondering whether it would be technically possible in the future to use something like that. So instead of connecting your wallet directly to a website, you just use a general login like Google or something else, if it makes sense. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, it'd be a brief phrase to make sure you find it correctly. So custom mini website is a little bit scary to connect your wallet. So you want to have an option that you can maybe connect your Google or Twitter or Discord, and then that's associated with your wallet so that you can mint from there. Yeah, it's along this line. Um, it's difficult for me to explain it technically because I don't really know how this works. But maybe someone could build like a third platform that basically serves as a safer option to connect like a Google account with the wallet. So the bio or the wizard of the website would be protected. Ah, I see. Yeah, actually, that's a great insight because there are a lot of third parties like Geekcoin has passport and our friends Fabderize have a thing called Quadrada passport. Basically like passport that kind of connects all your social accounts, including Gmail and wallet. So like integrating that is like you don't have to like necessarily connect your wallet, but you can just log into that one port and then verify your identity that you own the wallet. And then you can mint without connecting to those websites. We have been talking to have the rights for um, how we can integrate those services and also ourselves because Heyman owns the data of like Twitter, Discord, and sometimes Gmail if they decide to log in on Gmail uh, with wallet. So we can also integrate that into Launchpad so that, you know, people can like use Gmail to log in, which 
we can verify that they are the owner of the wallet and then they can just mint and we can maybe airdrop instead of like they execute a transaction or something. So yeah, there's a lot of things to think about, but that's a really great solution. Thank you. Yes, yeah, so, um, we have another questionnaire from Johannes again on Discord. In comparison to other tools, there's also Bueno.art. I was wondering how you position yourself uh, compared to them. Great question. Thanks for asking. Bueno, I actually really, really respect them as a tool because one, their design is absolutely brilliant. We actually got a lot of inspiration from them because the founder is actually a really, really famous person and he's a good designer. So I really love their vibe. And what we kind of differentiate ourselves with them is they are more of like our generation. Uh, they started from our generation. So their art generator is a little bit more advanced than us. At the moment, they have like tags and stuff like that. We are going to add it, but we still don't have it. So generator wise, our goal is to be feature parry with them. But our biggest strength is smart contract because we are the team who built the smart contract for Gen Academy, Women Galaxy. The Littles, The Game, and The Kingship, which is a universal music group. So we have a lot of experience with smart contracts, like way more than any other platforms. So it's super easy for us to add any smart contract functionalities. For example, we were the first one to add block marketplace feature, which is when marketplace don't enforce royalties, you can just block them. Let's say if Blur doesn't enforce royalties as a marketplace, if someone is trying to sell tokens from Blur, then our contract will block that so that the transfer doesn't happen. So we were one of the first ones to add it. And we also have staking, loaning, refunding as well. And also one thing that I want to mention is, I don't know how many of you have seen Zeneca's launch last week. So what they did is they created this innovative scheme that they had this smart contract already for Zen Academy. So what they did is they used two functionalities called free claim and burn to mint. So how burn to mint works is you burn the existing tokens. So in this case, the Academy token. And by burning the token, you can create the new tokens on the new smart contract. You're kind of like exchanging the tokens and upgrading the token in a way. So that's the feature that Zen Academy did. And another feature is free claim. So if you have this token, then you can claim the token for another contract. So what they did is they had this gen chest for Zen Academy. And if you have the 33 pass, which is a little bit more expensive layer, they can claim three more Zen chests, for example. So that feature, they actually built all contract feature on our platform. So they didn't make any custom addition. The contract is 100% generated from our platform. So we are the only ones who already supported big launch by Bluetooth project like Zen Academy. So our goal is to cover all the smart contract features as fast as possible so that everyone who wants to use custom dev don't have to pay for custom dev and they can just come in and use our platform to create smart contract. For example, if you want to do something similar to Tinica, you can already do that because the functionality is already there and you can create the exact same smart contract as Tinica did, for example. So the biggest differentiator for us is like how much variety of smart contract functionalities we have. That's amazing. I saw an announcement from uh, Zen Academy and uh, there is a lot of functionality, as you mentioned. So that's amazing to hear that all of that is built using your platform without having to code any smart contracts. When I saw the announcement, I was kind of assuming, oh, someone has spent a lot of time coding to make this. Yeah, yeah. The front end actually was built by Zen Academy, but smart contract was completely built by us. And I really appreciate Zen Academy because he always uses us for any like smart contract. Uh, he trusts us. And we get to add really innovative features and make it a better role for everyone who wants to use the scheme. So yeah, this is the best partnership that Zeneca and we have. We can provide value to the space together. That's a, a great endorsement as well. Having big projects like the Sun uh, Academy, All Women Galaxy and Kingship using your tools. That's kind of the best endorsement. Yeah, yeah. So you mentioned royalties and the ability to block marketplaces. Does this mean that you can enforce royalties? 
in practice, you can enforce royalties. So let's say as OpenSea is the only marketplace to enforce royalties, then you can just block everything else like X2Y2, Blur, LooksRare, whatever the platform that don't enforce royalties, we can just block the transfer. And essentially, if you do that, then the only place that collectors can use is going to be the marketplace that enforce royalties. So basically on-chain level, at the protocol level, we can enforce royalties. That's great. Does this mean that the owner of the smart contract has to pay attention to which marketplaces to update the block list as they go? That's a, that's a great question. At the moment, we allow them to choose, like they can update anytime, but they do have to pay attention to who is enforcing and who is not. So we might maybe change the spec to be like, if they enable automatic enforcement, then like we will take care, like we will be sure to pay attention to all the marketplaces that's possible. But at the moment, the creators have to make sure which marketplaces are enforcing royalties. Okay. And another question here is for the art generation, does it have to be layers or is it possible to upload individual art like on Manifold? For example, if an artist has a process for creating already and, and it's not layers, it's complete artworks. Uh, that the answer is yes. There is a way for creators to upload their own art and we will generate metadata for you. So how it works is that they will provide information about their tokens in CSV. So like tokens name, token description, trade names, and then we'll just generate the metadata from that CSV. So it's a little bit advanced feature, but it is available for anyone to use. Okay. And does it mean that all of the tokens have to be provided up front or is it possible to add incrementally? That's a good question. I think what Manipool offers, which is mostly for one 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 artist, that feature we don't have yet. It's gonna be possible if you handle everything by yourself. For example, you create the art, you regenerate the metadata, and then upload to IPFS and switch that uh, URL. So it's technically possible. And if anyone is thinking about that use case, we are happy to assist. Okay, that's great. Because I, I think it's a quite common way for independent artists to create one-on-ones. But yes, that sounds good. We are coming up on the hour. So any other aspects that we haven't touched on yet or any other things that we should mention about uh, Hayment or Curious Ideas? Yeah, um, is it Johan or Johan? I think he might have a question. Johannes, yes. Wow, I have oh, thousands oh, of questions. I like <laughs> uh, but one last thing that I'm always wondering is if you are thinking about offering a lazy man functionality, because yeah, for new artists, it's a little bit expensive in the beginning to provide the data. And my kid is in the background. That's why I'm asking questions through Discord. <laughs> yeah. So the, the platform that we have is basically like offering lazy mint. So how lazy mint works in OpenSea is they create the tokens and OpenSea doesn't mint until like it's going to be put on sale. So they are just holding it in their database. That's how Lazy Mint works. So technically it's a little bit different, but if you're worrying about paying gas for your like minting, then our platform is designed so that collectors pay for gas. So if you create a collection and then you can just create the public sale and your collectors can go to your website and then mint from there. So basically, like the only gas price that you have to pay is going to be the deployment cost for your contract. So other than that, all collectors is going to pay for the mint. It's great because uh, on Manifold, it can get very expensive. Great to know. Yeah, that's good to know. Thanks for uh, letting us know. Related question also. A lot of artists do airdrops to existing collectors. How would they do that using the launchpad, if it's possible? Yep, it's absolutely possible. We have a gift airdrop functionality. So what you can do is you create the new collection and you import all the addresses. Once you deploy a new contract that you want to airdrop to, then you can import the list of addresses. Probably it's going to be holder addresses. And then if you use our gift and airdrop functionalities, you can set which address to send and how many. And the smart contract has this gift functionalities that it will send the tokens accordingly. So that's also something really easy for them to do. That's amazing. I see one final question here on Discord. Um, do you have anything that resembles unlockable content like OpenSea has? Unlockable content? 
Yeah, so I wonder if this is an OpenSea specific feature or not, but OpenSea has this feature where if you buy an NFT, you can potentially also get access to unlockable content that only the owner of the NFT mm -hmm. can see. But I haven't seen this anywhere else, so it might be OpenSea specific. We, we don't have it, but that sounds like really easy functionalities to add. So basically, it's a token gating, right? Like whatever the content that you want to token gate, OpenSea will check the token holding. And then if this person owns token, then like access to this page, which is really, really simple programming. So I will need to know what kind of content they want to unlock. But if it's something that people want, it's something that we can definitely add pretty quickly. Okay, that's great. So potentially as a kind of Web3 login on your own site, similar to the yeah. main button. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it's like a resource hub. If they want to have a resource hub that only holders can access to, yeah, we can host or they can host and we'll just uh, provide the way to do so. So there's a uh, many ways to do that, but sounds like very a trivial feature to add. That's amazing. So yeah, there's so many great features. And lastly, where can people like, get in touch when they have questions and what Twitter accounts can people follow for news and updates? Yeah, thanks for asking. The main account is the account that I'm speaking from, hey Mint XYZ. We announced a lot of like new features and we announced some giveaways for tokens. So this is an account that we always have announcement if you want to learn more about it. And also if you have any explicit questions, you can DM us on hey Mint to hey Mint Twitter account. Or if you can send email hey at heymint.xyz. And also Curious Artists community. Brad and Momo are always there to answer questions. So that's also a place to go. Awesome. Thank you. I would urge everyone listening to check it out. And there are pinned tweets here and more to find on Twitter. And also check out Arian's project, African Beauties, on his website. Also, you'll find details on his Twitter account. Thank you so much, my Momo and Arian, for joining and uh, my lovely co-hosts, as always, June, Rabble, Johannes, for joining today. Thank you so much for having us. It was so fun. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Bye. See you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.